Hello everyone, I'm Vladimir and welcome to GeoNodes daily series where we do something with geometry nodes every day in 5 minutes or less. Today I want to continue on uh, the example I did uh, yesterday uh, with a nicely mapped image as you can see. This is a 4x3 aspect ratio image and this is uh, a 16x9. Uh, and we can control the effect like we saw yesterday. And uh, it doesn't matter what image you have it, it's going to just work. Um, quickly, I want to show you something that I did extra. This is the cleanup version of the file. And the extra thing that I did was to make sure that uh, the height uh, of uh, the displacement stays constant. And I did this here. Uh, I've took the number of slices, multiplied it, and then uh, the same number of slices I divided by 4, and this gave me the multiplication here, and then I multiplied it with this, this scale to get uh, uh, this effect, to keep it constant. Okay, now let's talk about uh, this material, how to map it uh, onto the image. Uh, first things first, we don't need to see this one, we want to see the shader editor. And a quick tip, if you just do this, control and drag from the corner, you can swap um, editors. So let's do a top visual view for one, render view, and uh, let's activate the screencast keys. Uh, okay. Good. And uh, let's look at the material. Uh, we want to see any of them. They are basically the same. And we want to construct them from start. So let's just do that. I'm gonna just delete everything from uh, this uh, 16 by nine material. And now we are losing the texture. So. Let's do, first of all, we need a shader, an emission shader, and we want to connect it here, and we need a uh, texture, uh, image texture, and we want to connect it here, and I'm gonna use uh, this image. Okay, now we need a vector mapping uh, to connect here. And we want to switch it to texture. And this texture, we need it to clip. Okay, next, we want to um, map this. So we need a input texture coordinates. And we want the object coordinates. And let's fix the location first. So we need a value input, uh, input value node, and we want its uh, minus 0.5 because we have this here, the way it's mapped. We also need a converter, combine XYZ, and we want to combine this to get the location. Okay, we are getting somewhere, but we are still a long way for home finishing. So converter, math, we need to multiply something, but what? We need, we need to get these values from here. We need the number of slices and we can do it, copy as new driver and paste it as driver. And then we need the aspect ratio. So copy as new driver based driver. So now we have the aspect ratio here. Okay, so let's um, round this value like we did uh, in the geometry nodes. And now we want um, to multiply this aspect ratio by this value in order to get the correct x location. 
and then we need another multiply node and we want to multiply this um, number of slices by the aspect ratio and this will be our x scale and then we want to just take the number of slices and plug it here and in order to get the correct scaling we need to do one more step so we need a vector math we have to put it on scale and then we need another math node and switch it to divide and what do we want to divide we want the inverse of the number of slices so if we divide the number of slices one by the number of slices we get the correct scale and that's it we finished now you can map it map any image onto uh, onto a sliced grid and it's going to work even uh, if we have a 4 by 3 or 6 by 9 image thank you for watching and uh, see you tomorrow in the next tip of GeoNodes daily. Until then, play with geometry nodes, experiment, and share with me your cool results.